Earlier today, the Soviets decided to launch a high-altitude bombing raid on our railroad facilities far behind our lines. Due to their high altitude and the surprise of the attack, our fighters were not able to intercept them. However, it seemed the Soviets were going to repeat the raid, using the same exact routes. This made planning significantly easier. Six of us were scrambled in order to stop these bombers from returning home at all costs. Hello everybody, Wolfpack here, and welcome to another exciting episode of the Fortress on the Volga campaign. We are back in our 109 G2s. I have my wingman down there. Hello. And we are going bomber hunting. We are a part of this flight of six. We're in uh, three separate little groups though, which is kind of interesting. And uh, we are heading back behind our lines to search for what I'm assuming are gonna be enemy Peshkas. Uh, it's gonna be pretty interesting engaging Peshkas. Uh, <laughs> they have quite a few defensive gunners that are very mean, so. We're definitely going to uh, want to get in and out quickly to avoid getting shot down. Unfortunately, we're flying directly into the sun uh, currently, which is certainly less than ideal. Not a huge fan of that. But yeah, no, this is our first time intercepting bombers, so it should be very interesting. We do want to, of course, keep our eyes peeled for any enemy escorts. It is a rather long flight plan compared to what we're used to, so um, we have uh, a little bit of downtime. My wingman, looking good. We'll try to catch up with the rest of the flight. You can see them there right in my crosshair. Other than that, it's really business as usual. I have not flown in weeks, really. Um, so I'm probably gonna be a bit rusty. And speaking of that, I do want to apologize for the lack of IL-2 videos uh, the past couple of weeks, but uh, we should be back onto a somewhat regular schedule after this. So uh, thanks, for, thanks for your patience. I appreciate it, everybody. All right, looks like we're passing our current waypoint. We need to turn on a heading of 265 degrees, so hopefully this will get the sun out of our eyes. We're going to fly towards the patrol area, and I will keep you all updated of any developments. Okay, we have arrived at our patrol area, and we were told we may begin patrolling. We've all split up into pairs. You can see there's another pair off to our nine o'clock, and where the hell did my engage nearest target? Wingman broke off. It looks like he saw something. We will follow him. I was not expecting that so quickly. He just broke off, this guy. He even, he even tell me. <laughs> I didn't get a call out. Either where is he going? Oh, there we go. Got him. Wow, that's close. Okay. Let's see if we can roll in and get a little snapshot. We do not... Oh, my gosh. Look at that tracer. We do not want to stay on their six for long. That's for damn sure. Those gunners are extremely scary, and this is not the best place to be. It's pretty easy to get shot in the head here. That Peshka number two is getting laid up. Oh, my gosh. All right, we'll go for number one. A few MG hits there. Cannon hit in the tail. Oh my gosh. Gunnery is not great. Okay, we got to break off. Get out of here. before he kills us. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, yeah, I'm rusty. I uh, can already tell just with that gunnery. Okay. Let's kick it around. Peshkas are pretty darn tough, and they are fast. They were originally meant to be interceptors, which is pretty cool, but uh, they do have a lot of speed. All right, see if I can... I'm also afraid of blowing my engine here. There we go. That was a solid burst right there. And it looks like engine number one's on fire. He's going down.
All right, let's check our surrounding. It looks like another Peshka is going down in flames. I have an aircraft, three o'clock. Is that a 109? That's, yeah, it looks like a 109. All right, two Peshkas down in flames. No shoots, as far as I can tell. Okay. Now, where are the fighters? That was too easy. What the hell is that? Is that another PE-2? There we go. I think the one we shot just splashed. I have something trailing fuel low. Kind of yeah, on the deck. That's definitely another Peshka. This is... This has to be a friendly airfield. There's parachutes. Looks like some of the crew got out. All right, we're closing on our friend. Oh, it looks like another 109 is actually engaging already. I can barely see him. These light conditions, it's just so hard to pick out targets. Um, there's a fighter. Is there a second fighter? Uh-oh, that's not good. I can't tell if he was engaging the fighter or engaging the Peshka, but uh, looking at the Peshka is at it. Oh, maybe she's still okay. Oh man, we're going so fast. Oh, I have a feeling this this PE2 is trying like not going to last much longer. Let's finish it off. I saw the uh, other burst of tracer and I thought there was a Russian fighter in the area. Did I light both engines on fire? I did. That's kind of brutal. Jeez. Okay. And... Are they down? Yeah, they're down. Wow. Okay. Anything else? That's three PE-2s I've seen destroyed. Figured their raid would be a little bit larger than that. However, I don't have any friendlies in sight, so I think with that, it may be time to uh, work our way back home. What's that, a train? It's got to be a friendly train. We're behind friendly lines here. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, let's let's fly this way. We'll patrol the area a little bit to see if we can catch another Peshka. I do want to regain my altitude, of course. And uh, we'll see if there's anything else out here for us to engage. Alrighty, folks, here we are. Landing approach. Killing off airspeed, dropping flaps. And dropping gear. So far, so good. Apparently, some of our friends are in the area. Beginning their landing approach as well. Let's see if we can... Uh, okay, we need a little bit of power. <laughs> it slowed up pretty damn quick once the gear dropped. All right, everything's looking clear. We're landing on the northern runway. Oh, another 109 Raven 7. That was not one of our call signs, so... Uh, someone's having a little scrap out there. All right. Got a good green flare. Oh, jeez, Louise. That was horrible. <laughs> a little rusty. All right. But you know what? We're down. No smash of wingtips. No busted undercarriage. As far as I know, mechanics may find something after that, but uh, that's not our problem, is it? 
All right, we're raising our flaps, and we have landed. Okay, well, you all know the drill. Uh, I'll taxi you off, and I'll see you all for the debrief. All right, well, here we are. It definitely ended up being a short mission, only 22 minutes long. We only got credit for one aircraft. I suppose that second one we shot up, uh, I guess someone else got credit for that. That's okay, I suppose. I'm, you know, a little upset, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, PE2 destroyed. PE2 destroyed. That's the one we got. Doesn't look like the other one was destroyed. Hmm, interesting, because I thought we shot the other one. It was, like, over here, yeah? Anyway, I could be mistaken, but... What else what went down over here? A PE2 was destroyed over here. So we ended up getting three of them all together. No 109s destroyed, uh, as far as I can tell. Another PE2 went down over here. And it uh, looks like there was a fight over Stalingrad. Lag 3s destroyed. Yeah, no friendly losses for the day, though, so that is pretty great. Alrighty, folks. Well, that will do it for today. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and comment, as it really does help out the channel. But until next time, this is Wolfpack345 signing off, and I'll see you all on the next one.